A dozen people have been injured when a car crashed into a shop in Sydney this afternoon. SBS reporter Omar Dehen is at the scene. And Omar, what more can you tell us? Uh, well, Janice, police remain on the scene here in Greenacre tonight with streets still cordoned off as they try to investigate exactly what happened. The driver has tonight been arrested, not yet charged, but police have only added that he has a history of traffic offences but won't rule out whether or not this was deliberate. Authorities are describing the scenes from earlier today as chaotic. Just after 3 p.m., an SUV was filmed revving its engine after crashing into a car at the set of lights behind me. It then emerged through thick plumes of smoke ploughing into Hijab House, the shop front behind us. Uh, Eleven people, including the driver, were injured. Some were on stretches as they were taken to hospital, but thankfully none of those injuries are considered to be life-threatening. What's wrong? The signs of trouble were obvious. Even from a distance... What the hell? Witnesses were concerned. <gasps> the car appearing to be out of control, slamming into the shop hijab house. <laughs> Passers-by quick to offer their assistance before emergency services arrived at the scene. Unfortunately, um, 10 people in or close to the vicinity of the house have been taken to hospital. Uh, one person has uh, serious leg injuries and uh, possibly a second person with serious injuries. Hijab House, a popular outlet for modest fashion for women, saying in Arabic, praise to God, there are no fatalities. The community is shaken and Hijab House management is working to make sense of this tragedy. We send our love and prayers to all involved, including our beautiful staff and customers. Our paramedics were met with a very chaotic scene. There was a large crowd of bystanders who were quite distressed by what uh, had occurred today. And our paramedics have done a fantastic job in calming those people down, assessing the situation and treating those who need it. Locals who are familiar with the area also reacting. I cross this intersection multiple times a day. I am shaking. Police are continuing to investigate the scene. I don't know whether there was intent at all at this stage. It's too early in the investigation to say, um, but we will be exploring all avenues. And Janice, for the families of those injured, this incident will be felt this weekend during the holy Islamic celebration of Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan. And with New South Wales easing its coronavirus restrictions, Hijab House would have been a likely popular destination for people ahead of those community and family celebrations. Janice. Thanks so much. That's our reporter Omar Dehen reporting from Sydney's West.